guys and welcome to my channel so today I'm going to talk about the worst date ever that I've ever had when I was 18 I was talking to this boy it was like early on like you know dating so our first date together was actually the worst date ever so this dude he texts me and he asked me if I could drive I told him I couldn't drive because my car was messed up and my dad was supposed to be taking his car to the shop because somebody had hit the back of his car and he was like oh okay so he ended up texting me like 15 20 minutes later and he was like well that's not what I heard I heard your daddy ain't doing nothing but sitting at home watching a game and I was like my dad is supposed to be taking his car to the shop and he was like okay so I told my parents what was said and he had um, called that person who told him that my dad was sitting at home watching the game well he actually called the girl's husband the lady's husband and told the husband like you guys don't know what goes on in my house or whatever and in the background his wife is up here yelling that's why he had white castle with his ex-girlfriend so I text him and I was like well I heard you at White Castle with your ex and he was like see man that's the stuff I'm talking about like people act like you can't be friends with your ex and I'm like mm-hmm yeah whatever but okay well I'll figure something out and he ended up t he came and got me he came with his friend and so he calls me he goes I'm here and my dad was like so he's not coming in to meet me and so I told him, I was like, um, my dad said you need to come in here and meet him. So he came in, his friend came in as well, which was also a guy. And you know, that kind of pissed my parents off because we're going on a date and there's another dude. And so they were just like really kind of worried because I was like, what if he rapes you and you know, something is up. He met my parents and then we went on to the date. So we did. I don't know we was going to one movie theater first but the movie had already started so we didn't end up going to the movies I think it was like 12 o'clock at night so when we got to the movie theaters um when we got to the movie theaters he got out the car his friend got in out the car and they were like a mile away from where I was like I had just got out the car and I'm still near the car and they was already like further down where you have to exit and I think you had to get on the elevator or something to go up to the room where the movie theaters were like you had to get to the theaters you had to go like on the elevator or something or go up some stairs and they were almost down there and let me tell you it's like 12 o'clock at night so I was still all the way down there by myself and he, him and his friend was all the way up there so they left me so I got pissed off like okay whatever so we got to the freaking um line so we could pay for our ticket so he paid for his ticket then I paid for my ticket and his friend paid for his own ticket and so we started walking together he finally started walking with me and he was like wait maybe I was supposed to pay for your ticket and I just looked like okay whatever so we got into the movie theater and I ended up getting a text message. I got a couple text messages. So I was reading like one of my text messages and he looked and he was like leaning over trying to read my text message. And I'm looking like, I'm looking at him irritated because it's like, why are you up in my phone? Like we, this is our first date. You don't need to be up in my business like that. Like goodbye boy. He finally like, I don't know we didn't we didn't even work out like he took me home afterwards and whatever that was it like we didn't even date anymore because that we did not enjoy that date I, he probably think that's the worst date of his life and this that was the worst date of my life because first off I felt like he wasn't putting no like attention into me like I was just like I was just one of those girls like I don't know I felt like you know how like celebrities do like when they're trying to be secretive about who they're dating and they have a girlfriend like behind them and you know the guys up front and and all that stuff like I just felt like I was like following them like I felt like I was just there like I don't know he didn't show like no I don't know like interest in me and I don't know I, I just that was the worst day ever I was bored and he like I don't know it's just it was it was just going left and then from there we ended up breaking up because apparently he was hearing stuff about me from that same lady and he chose like 
he chose to listen to what she was saying about me. The lady came up to me and she said that I shouldn't be going out on a date with him. Like I shouldn't even date him or anything like that because he is a liar and he's a compulsive liar. And she said she would never say that about me because she loves me and she would have my back and all that stuff. And um, she was like, yeah, he, he is a liar. I would never say that about you and blah, blah, blah. So don't listen to him. And so I was like, okay, whatever. And um, that that was the end of our relationship. And he actually dumped me on Facebook as well. Yeah, he, he dumped me. I didn't even know. Like, he didn't have the guts to call me and tell me, like, yo, like, I wasn't feeling you or you wasn't feeling me or I felt like this or whatever. Maybe we should just be friends or whatever. He just dumped me on Facebook. I go on Facebook and I see that he listed himself as single. And then I had asked him. I was like, I was like, um, so we're done. Yeah. Um, I heard too much stuff about you and I don't want to get involved in that. And, um, and on top of that, like, I didn't think he was really into me anyways to begin with. So, yeah, that was like, okay. Okay, whatever. That was it. So yeah, that was my worst date ever and the worst boyfriend ever and whatever. So anyways, if you like this video, thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching.